Okay guys, so today I've got a cool video. Um, I thought I'd give you a shot and a look at what the results are from lowering the suspension on my 64 Corvair. Last week I decided to go ahead and cut some coils out of this thing to give it a kind of a new look. Kind of needed new coils uh, anyway, new springs anyway, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to go ahead and try to um, lower it a little bit. And if it didn't work out, I would just buy new springs anyway and there was nothing really to lose. But I think it turned out pretty good. So basically what I ended up doing was pulling one uh, ring or one coil out of the rear of the car and two coils out of the front of the car. Now I started with one coil in the front and one coil in the rear, but it was kind of sagging in the back a little bit. It, it didn't really drop it very much in the front. The top of the, the last coil is kind of flattened to give you a nice seating in the, in the saddle. And so when you cut that first coil, it doesn't really give you a lot of drop. Once I cut the second coil, it dropped a ton. So um, it's, it's really low. It's way down on the ground now and it looks pretty sweet. So what I thought I'd do is uh, get it out on the road and take you along and um, kind of see how it drives and if, it's, uh, if it handles any differently or if it bumps or grinds or rubs. And, um, and if any of you guys are on the fence on whether you want to lower your Corvair, uh, maybe this will help you out. So it wasn't that hard of a job. Um, I've never done it before, so that's what was fun about it. But basically I got it up on the jacks and I pulled the wheels off and pulled the shocks and anything that was basically in the way of being able to pull the springs out. And then I just took the springs out one at a time, put them in the bench vise, and went after them with an angle grinder and um, just chopped off exactly one coil on each, put them back in and here we are. So we'll get it out on the road together and we'll see how it went and um, go from there. So we got her out on the road, definitely a different sensation, it's definitely lower to the ground. I kind of feel like I could reach out and touch the asphalt, it's pretty cool, definitely looks cooler. It's a little bumpier, it's not as bad as I thought it would be though, I mean, like there's some manholes right there and it, I thought it was just going to jar us, but it's not that bad. And as far as handling goes, man, it, it almost feels like it's better. It, maybe it doesn't have as much top heavy swing. It's lower to the ground. I guess that would make sense. But yeah, this is uh, handling really nicely. I'm, I'm really surprised. There's my wife and I in the front seat and a nine pound attack dog in the back. And that's not enough weight for it to bottom out. We haven't rubbed yet or scraped or bottomed out. So wow, this is really good, really happy. I think this was a success. So right on.